Consider the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. If we let d equal b squared minus 4ac, the real solution or solutions, if they exist, are x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of d over 2a. Example one, solve using the quadratic formula. This setup, we have our uh, quadratic equation here in standard form. So we're gonna identify the values of a, b, and c. a is two, b is three, c is negative five. Evaluate the discriminant d. So the discriminant is going to be b squared minus four ac, which is nine minus four times two times negative five. So that is nine plus, so we have 20, so 40 equals 49. Note, d is a perfect square. So we have our quadratic formula here. We're going to uh, substitute in our values. So we're looking at this right here because we've made the discriminant just d. We've already solved for d. That's 49. So that's negative b. b is 3 plus or minus the square root of 49 over 2 times 2 because a is 2. So that's negative 3 plus or minus 7 divided by 4. So negative 3 plus 7 would be positive 4 over 4, which is 1. So that's one of our solutions. The other solution is negative 3 minus 7. So that's negative 10 over 4. So that is our second solution. And there we go. We see our negative 10 over 4 solution has been simplified to negative 5 over 2, and 4 over 4 has been simplified to 1. Example 2. Solve using the quadratic formula. All right, so the setup, we have our equation here, but we have to change this into standard form first. Once it's in standard form, we can identify the values of a, b, and c. So a equals 1, b equals negative 2, and c equals negative 3. Evaluate the discriminant d. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, which equals 2 squared, negative 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times 1 times negative 3. So that equals 4 plus 12, which is 16. Note, d is a perfect square. All right, so now let's move on to the quadratic formula. We're going to substitute in our values here. So we have negative b, which actually is negative 2, so it's going to become positive 2, plus or minus the square root of 16 over 2 times 1. So that's 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. So the solutions are 2 plus 4, which is 6, divided by 2, which is 3, and 2 minus 4, which is negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. And the solutions are negative 1 and 3. The discriminant is the quantity that will indicate whether the quadratic equation has 0, 1, or 2 real solutions. Beyond this, if the discriminant is a perfect square, the solutions are rational. The table below summarizes the possible outcomes. If the discriminant is less than 0, there are no real solutions. If the discriminant equals 0, there is one real solution. If the discriminant is greater than 0 and the discriminant is a perfect square, there are two rational solutions. If the discriminant is greater than zero but not a perfect square, then there are two irrational solutions.